Hey, what's up guys, Auto Fanatics. So today's video, we're gonna show you an updated TDS reading of my dual filter deionizing water system. Now, if you guys haven't seen that video, go back on the Auto Fanatic channel. It was at the, I believe it was the end of spring or the beginning of summer. I installed a dual cartridge deionizing filtration system on my water supply. And if you guys haven't seen it, let's go show you right now exactly what I'm talking about. All right, guys, just to uh, reemphasize, this is exactly what I showed in the video a number of months back. So the reason I'm doing this video, because so many people that went out and bought these systems or are considering these systems keep emailing me or posting in the comments of that video, how long does this system last? Well, I have two cartridges. This cartridge here is a carbon block cartridge this is the one that i use the pp10 bbcc 5 micron filter okay that's in that cartridge there and then the cartridge on the right is a refillable resin bed okay i showed this in the auto fanatic video as well and this is the replacement one i was actually going to do jerry on his system he did two of the resin beds i decided to do just one because our issue with my water is excessive high chlorine. My TDS, before I put this system in, was about 70 to 79. Wasn't really too high. They usually say anything above 100 is pretty considered hard and you wanna kinda of play around with some of this stuff. So I have a system here with a little bit of a Y so I could go between the garden hose and the filtration system. Just to let you guys know, ever since I installed the system, I've been using it every day for everything, not just rinsing the car off. So a lot of guys like to take these deionizing filtration systems and just use it for the final rinse. I'm just gonna let you guys know, ever since I hooked it up, it's just too much of a hassle for me to disconnect and switch it back and forth with fittings. I am using it for everything. I'm using it to foam up the wheels, to foam up the car, to rinse the car, to um, pressure wash my driveway, pressure wash my garage, pressure wash the sidewalk around the house. I've been using it for everything. So there's well over 1,000 plus gallons of flow through this system so far. So we're gonna check the TDS and we're gonna kind of see how it does. Also, we're gonna check it from directly from the garden hose spigot to compare if it's still gonna be 70. Uh, before, when I did the video, it went down to three. So we're gonna set it up right now. We're gonna do a test between the garden hose, the filtration system after several months of using it constantly and a bottle of Avion water. So let's go over to the bench right now and start seeing what we get for reading. All right, guys, just the first test we're gonna do is with a brand new bottle of Avion water just to kind of see what this is going to read. I'm curious myself, because I know the pH is neutral. So we're going to turn the, P, uh, the TDS meter on, dip it in there. And we are at, wow, we are at 260, 270, 272 ppm. So that means that there's a lot of minerals and stuff that's in this water, because probably because it's naturally sourced. Uh, that's probably why the claim to fame and why it tastes differently than most bottled water. So we're going to use this as a guide. So we're at 272. So it's about 272. Now it's dropping down to 214. So obviously we're well over 200. So I'm going to pour this out. We're going to go directly from the garden hose. We're going to test that. And then we're going to test it from the filtration system. All right, guys, we're back. So this is water taken directly out of the garden hose. Let's just see what this reads. So we're at 50. 51, which is not so bad. So believe it or not, I think it gets a little bit higher coming out of the spigot versus going through a 100-foot garden hose, or it could be the calibration. This is a brand-new TDS meter. So we're at 50, okay? This is coming out of the garden hose, and it's actually not so bad. The issue that I have is excessively high chlorine. So the way I've been using the system and the way I know it's good, the clear indicator when your water is, is pretty adequate to wash your cars is are you getting immediate flash rust? Can you wash in direct sun, and are you going to get those water spots? So we're going to close that out right now. Let's check it out from the water filter. All right, guys, just move the video outside. So this is the water that came out of the dual filtration system. So we got the carbon. We have the refillable deionizing resin. This is easily after 1,000 gallons of flow through the unit and using it for everything. So let's see what we got. Check that out, guys. My TDS is eight okay i started out when i did that video the tds was three it only went up to eight which means that my filtration system is still adequate it's still good i do not need to replace the resin do not need to replace that filter and uh like i said that's really impressive that this system has been this effective with my water supply so what i'm going to say about this video check your tds try out the system i like the the filter of carbon and resin but to be honest with you, everybody's going to have different water. So you're going to want to try out what's going to be best for you. 
But I can't believe that for using this system for the entire summer of watching all my cars, watching the driveway, watching the uh, sidewalk, watching the garage, and using it for everything, that my TDS went from three to only eight. So I am nowhere near changing these filters or doing any replacements right now. And so far, this is my sweet spot, is using one of these, one of these with this resin bed. You can still see it. The bag is still halfway full because I haven't really needed it. I packed this one already, and I had it in a Ziploc bag just for storage, and I have not needed it. So just a quick little update video for anybody that's watched the deionizing system, um, the video that I posted on the channel a number of months back. This system is phenomenal. I love it. I like the footprint. I like the way I mounted it on the wall. It just works great. I always wash in direct sun because our soaps are really pH neutral and they work really well. No flash thrust in the brake rotors. No issues with water spots. It works absolutely great. You're also going to get better output foam, or I notice better output foam uh, with our soaps as well in the foam cannon. So like I said, if you guys are on the fence about doing something like this, I think for 200 bucks, I'm going to post all the links that I showed in the video when I connected all this stuff in that extensive video, I'll post it in this video as well if anybody's interested. I suggest the dual setup with the dual bracket the way I have it on my wall with these two filters. This filter comes in the kit. All you have to do is buy this, and then you have to buy a bag of resin, which I think is about 70 bucks. Get yourself a little bit TD mess meter for 20 bucks, and you're pretty much going to be good to go for a very, very long time now. Don't ask me questions about well water. I don't have well water. My TDS out of the water is not over 200 to 300 parts per million, but this is just with New York City municipal water. These are my results. They're absolutely outstanding. Pick one up today, set it up in your garage. You're going to thank me uh, once you start watching the car and seeing the results. And uh, you can just see it right there. So the TDS went from three several months ago down to eight. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys in another upcoming video soon. Thanks, guys.